what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for Batman City of Bane now this is the uh, graphic novel that I have right here now this collects Batman issues 75 through 85 and Batman annual 4 now I was already planning on reading this but I'm just not picking it up and I already had read a couple of issues of these, like actually like single solo issues, because you know like the main reason why I actually had picked this up, and it's a spoiler alert for like a lot of fans who have been keeping up with what's going on like within the, the Batman comics. You know, like we had like a recent death, like a major character like in the Batman comics. So you know, this is a spoiler alert if a lot of y'all don't know. It was Alfred Pennyworth who had actually like passed away kind of recently, and his passing happened in uh this uh, storyline of a uh, city of Bane, which consists of like ten issues, you know, and like an annual issue that they have added on. So that's the main reason why I actually have picked up Batman City of Bane, like this hardcover with this graphic novel, which collects those stories. Now, this story itself, I must admit, I thought it was like weird. It was kind of hard to follow it, but apparently, I believe why I probably had trouble with it is because I didn't actually read. The uh, events that actually led to the storyline that started City of Bane. I missed all what was actually happening. As far as like, the comics go, I just went into like the actual City of Bane storyline, which started with uh, Batman 75. But apparently, B Bane himself has control over Gotham City. He's actually like running Gotham City. Like he can cause so much chaos and I think a destruction, but he has actually taken over Gotham City. And at the same time, he has like the actual other villains. Like in the head or in charge of certain things, like all the other villains, like Joker, the Riddler, like Penguin, uh, like various, like uh, like like Batman, like villains, you know, Rogue Gallery villains are like in control of everything, it's like the police. I think, yo, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, this was Hugo Strange, like Hugo Strange. There was actually like the commissioner, like like Commissioner Gordon was actually like the commissioner of Gotham City. That's how bad Gotham had actually got. Now at the same time. You have like a uh, Bruce Wayne and like a uh, and Selina Kyle. They're like off like on like a uh, some kind of like I don't want to say adventure, but some kind of like it's not really a vacation. But you can tell they took time away from Gotham City and they're actually like training and getting themselves like in good like uh, condition and shape so they can go back to Gotham City and take Bane out. You know, and at the same time you have like the. Uh, Thomas Wayne Batman, you know, like from Earth, I forget which Earth he is, like the actual alternate Batman, like where it's actually Thomas Wayne, like Bruce's father, he's actually like a main part of the story too, and he has like a sidekick known as, I think, Gotham Girl, and she's like as powerful as Superman, so they're actually like together with Bane, they're actually on the side with Bane, you know, now as far as I know, he is still like actually like a, uh, a good character, if I'm not mistaken, like Thomas Wayne, but he does have like some destructive, destructive and like evil type ways, you know, now another thing I thought was kind of interesting about the story, like heroes, like superheroes have been banned from Gotham City too. So that's another thing I thought was kind of interesting about it. But that, that, like, the main reason why I actually picked up this story, and like I said, was because like the death of Alfred Pennyworth and it does happen in this book, you know. I ain't gonna get into what had happened with it because I already actually read like the single solo issue and even I'm still wondering because when you actually read how the story unfolds is it feels like the death of Alfred does seem like it wasn't real. It could have been like one of these like earth type things, you know, where one really like the Alfred of this earth or something like that. if there are other like Alfreds, you know, that you could see it being something like that. Because we do have like the uh, Thomas Wayne Batman in here too as well. So right there you can kind of pinpoint and see that they might do something like that eventually. But apparently Alfred supposed to be really uh dead and I can kind of see them going with this because that would be like a major death in like the uh, Batman like a uh, storyline, you know, they actually did like Alfred, you know, and Batman was also celebrating like his 8th anniversary when that storyline occurred. That's why I kind of do believe they will actually keep that particular storyline. But the story itself, I feel like it was just like all over the place. It's just the artwork I thought was pretty good because it's made by Tom King, Tony S. Daniel, and Mikhail Janin. I think that's how I pronounce it. And like I guess you could say other artists and two as well who contributed to it. But I can feel like it's just like all. Like over the place is just something like weird about it, you know. But I, it was still a, a pretty decent story, you know. So in the end of uh, Batman City of the Bay, I'm giving this a C. And I would definitely recommend it for fans of like, you know, like the Batman comics. Or if you're just looking f to see like what happened with Alfred, you know. It's like, like, like I said, I was even weird and strange, you know. But yeah, I'm giving this a uh, Batman City of Bay. I'm giving this a C. Like I said, I would recommend like it for reading, you know. Especially if you want to read about what happened to Alfred. So yeah, this is my review for Batman City of Bane. I'm giving this a C. Please leave a comment and subscribe too as well.